Hi everybody, PyChan here, and on today's video, like I promised last week, I'm not gonna review a manga. This time, I'm going to review the anime Munto, or Munto TV. There's, and unlike a lot, unlike all the others that I've done, this one, if you just go by the TV part, is not dubbed. But the movies and everything are, which is exactly like it. So, first, let's get to the characters. No, actually, I'm forgetting something. First, let's do this just in case. Warning, spoilers are ahead. All right. I caught myself before I got it anything and did spoilers without saying that so I wouldn't have to put it in the beginning. So now first off we will now first off like always we're going to talk about the characters first and I'll talk about the main characters even though you meet a few others between the two I'll talk about the main two first and then I'll go back to the two that you meet in between the two pretty much main ones you meet in between meeting the guy actually Munto but first we have Yumi Mi and and there are pretty much two races in this the heavenly people and the humans Yumi Mi as you can tell by her rounded off ears, is a human. And she is the only one that when she looks up to the sky, she can see the islands of the heavenly realm, though she doesn't know what they are in the beginning. And she always carries, an, in, the, in the first three episodes. This only has nine episodes, by the way, which is, which I'll get into my qualms with that a little later. She, in the, in the beginning, she always carries an umbrella. Oh, uh, let me see if it actually shows. No, it doesn't show on the box itself. It actually doesn't even have any scenes at all, but but at first she's so shy and timid and then by the end by the end of even the first set of three episodes uh, the first set of three episodes which like I said it has nine episodes and it goes in three episode parts which eh, that's all right but as it goes, she gets extremely brave and outgoing. And by the second time, by the second little arc, I'm going to call it, she doesn't even use an umbrella anymore, except for maybe on rainy days. It doesn't show from, it starts off where it's starting to rain and it says that she likes rainy days because she can see the same sky as everybody else but then but then it it just it stops raining before she leaves the house so she grows a lot as a person well of course she does even though it's such a short anime well enough about her next we have the king of the magicians of the heavenly realm, Munto. And yes, this I do believe is who the anime is named after. Actually, it's probably who the anime is named after, but you don't meet him until like maybe halfway through the first episode, which, eh, that's all right. It's in the first episode, it's until it meets in about until about three-fourths of the way through it it's kind of setting everything up anyway so it's kind of understandable that he wouldn't come in until the end but surprisingly enough 
in my opinion, he goes through the least amount of growth. Because in the beginning, he descends from the heavens to protect not just his own country, but the whole heavenly realm. And by the end, that need is still there. Pretty much the only, pretty much the only real thing that I can tell that grows is the fact that he understands his feelings by the end, which is always a good thing. Well, now that we've got the two main characters talked about, let's go into the characters Ichigo and Suzume. These two are Yumemi's best friends, and I think, and if I'm not mistaken, I haven't watched this, well, last night I watched the first episode, but I haven't watched this all the way through in a little while, but I do believe these are the only two that actually believe you made me about the islands floating in the sky. And it's, and when, I know I'm going back to you made me, but it kind of pertains to them. When she was younger, she thought that everybody saw that and then she gradually got to where she realized that she was the only one that saw the sky like that because people would tease her, but then, but then Ichiko would come in and she would get mad at him for bullying her because she believed her about the islands floating in the sky. And after a little while, she was sad that she couldn't see him and that's why you made me start using the umbrella. She, and Ichigo is kind of a tomboy-ish type deal, but she is very protective of, of both Yumemi and Suzume. And then we get into Suzume, the real bubbly, cheery one, bubbly, cheery, innocent one, but she is not as, she, a lot of them, Ichigo is like really worried about her because in the beginning she said she had a boyfriend and she's getting married to him and they're just 13. That I'm not going to explain because that you're going to have to figure out by yourself. That little aspect is kind of interest, a kind of interesting thing to see how they play that out. But they, she, so she's innocent and all, she may be innocent, but she's not naive. Well, now, now with the art style itself, it actually goes, it actually has, like I explained before, it has three episode, three, three episode arcs and each arc has a different art style, which they're all gorgeous. I just wish they would have stuck with one or the other. Like, let's take a few pictures of you, Mamie. This is her in the first arc, and this is her in the last one. See the difference? And then there's one in between. So, there's a lot of difference. But that, between the First and the second, okay, I can give it that one. It's supposed to be over a year, but between the second and the third, that's supposed to happen like boom, right after one another. Then again, those two were created 10 years apart, so dang, that's a long time. So, with, but with the story, at first it starts off, it, actually has an extremely good story for how short the anime is. So, with all, but I'm just sad that they didn't make more and unlike the last one, Sweet Rain, where that was just three manga and that was really confusing, this one is not, it's got a very linear story and it's extremely easy to understand. 
so so if you so I know I haven't really gone into much about the story like I usually do but with this one if I were to explain some of even episode four and all that it would it would ruin quite a bit of the first arc and I don't want to do that I want you guys to watch it yourself but I will say at the end I was very surprised and very happy because of something that Munto says to you Mamie in front of yeah this is kind of a spoil this is a bit of a spoiler I'm not gonna say how but Munto says something to you, Mamie, in front of Suzume and Ichiko. Oh, I guess I forgot about the bad guy, but oh well. <laughs> I meant to talk about him, but oh well. You'll if you watch it, you'll get why he's a little bit forgettable. <laughs> but now for the ending, yes, it closes everything off, but then if you watch a little extra from a little extra excerpt from I think the third movie it opens something up and you can see that they were planning to continue the story so I'm a little disappointed that they didn't get a chance to do that I'm still waiting for the next part I really enjoy this one so even with all the flaws it has I will still give this series, oh, even with the flaws, with the flaws, with they're having three different art styles, which are all gorgeous, by the way. And it, and it not closing off at the end, I will still give this a. 7 out of 10. I was kind of jumping between 6 and 7 there, but let's say 7. Let's go on the high end here. I'll still give it a 7 out of 10. And now, I've got a little something special that for my show and tell. You guys know that for in the, the very first Aki Bento box that I opened, I got this sticker of Misty and in the October box I got this one of Noble from Lost Paws little helper there Lily well there's actually two more in this set that I did not have and and Aki Bento actually opened a store for their little exclusive merchandise that you can't get anywhere else for things that you missed if you would want them. And they had a Black Friday sale. So, me with these four being very big influences on me starting this channel, I got, I got the two that I was missing. Aki Dearest and Joey the Anime Man and these I am very glad that I got after I scanned them because I am planning on doing something a little special for the four of them I, I am, I'm actually for all four of these guys I'm actually not going to stick them on anything these things are going into frames and being put up on the wall behind my desk where I have my little, well, I'm actually filming with a tablet now, which has a much better camera than my little, than my computer. But they're going to go up there after I scan them and get some picture frames for them. But, but because these guys are the ones that got me started in all this and I am showing off all four of their stickers here. All four of their uh, 
their YouTube accounts will be down in the description. So please go check them out. They are great. And they all have their own thing of what they do. Like, Misty here does, she has, he actually, it's a, I was thinking about the sticker, but Misty here has a lot of, um, top 10 lists where you can figure out what animes you like. Aki here has a lot of the going into more of the otaku culture and all that, though not tutorials or anything like that, just talk, just giving her take on it. And she does a few, and she has a few Vocaloids lists that are pretty entertaining. It's what got me into her and I just continued to watch her. Joey here, he, he actually lives in Japan, so he is Joey the anime man here actually lives in Japan so he just he kind of gives you the take of his opinion and stuff and he has a kind of funny series of WTF Japan which is interesting to say the least and then lastly we have the one from Noble here where he does a lot of gaming stuff and all that and just random stuff that he finds which is pretty freaking funny, which one thing that I enjoy that he does is he likes taking um, surveys and all, no, not surveys, quizzes and all that and his reaction to what he, the, the amount that he gets at the end. Well, like I said before, all four of these guys, account, YouTube accounts will be down in the description if you want to go and check them out. And also, my DeviantArt and Twitter account will be down in the description. And I am planning on adding some more art to my DeviantArt account very soon once I get my bigger notebook scanned, which I have to go to Office Max or someplace like that to do. Well, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And apparently there's a system glitch. I haven't been... I haven't had any problem with it yet, but there's a little notification bell, so... That may help you with getting my videos if you don't. So hit that. Well, that's it for this. That's it for today, everybody. See ya.